storms on the way. I'll show you when and where they could turn severe. Breaking news, a settlement to stop a proposed landfill. It was worth it. Tonight, why the mayor says this is the best path forward. A young life lost. She was just gloomy. <laughs> she had a whole life ahead of her. The way a community is honoring an 11-year-old girl shot and killed inside her home. KMEC 9 News at 10 starts now. We begin with first alert weather. Chances for rain and storms means tomorrow is an impact day. Good evening, everybody. I'm Chris Ketz. And I am Bria Berry. And for Lara, Chief Meteorologist Brian Busby is here. And Brian, you're already seeing some rain on first alert radar. I certainly am. I'm also seeing some active weather out to the west. Those counties you see in orange, that is a tornado watch. Now, Channel 11 News. Coverage you can count on. Good morning, another rough night. It is now Friday, April 12th, 5 a.m. I'm Catherine Amenta. And I'm Gordon Lesh. The flash flooding is also affecting several local school districts in the area. More than a dozen are closed or delayed today. You can see the list at the bottom of your screen in our 11 alert. And we are bringing you live Team 11 coverage on this flooding. We start with meteorologist Scott Harbaugh. Scott, what's the latest? I still have rain across the area this morning. Most of it light, but there are some pockets of moderate rain, especially in Westmoreland County. Notice southwest Allegheny County. Now on Pittsburgh's Action News 4. Rain showers throughout the day. I'll let you know when they'll come to an end and sunshine will return to the area. That's coming up in just a few minutes. It's become too normal of a thing. Coming up, why the year 2004 is on the minds of some people here in Oakdale after last night's floods. An about face inside a Pittsburgh tunnel. The year-long closure about to end as another one begins. <laughs> It's a musical success story. A drama club overcomes drama to take the stage. Pittsburgh's Action News 4 starts right now. And it starts with a severe weather one-two punch. Tonight, Pittsburgh's infamous bathtub along the Parkway East is closed. The Mon River breaching the flood walls once again. And on the other side of the Golden Triangle, the 10th Street bypass is also shut down tonight. We even spotted one vehicle that tried to drive through and got stuck. It's the second time in a week that the bypass has been forced to close as river levels rise. KHOU 11 News at 5 starts now. This is such a tragic event. And now that we have lost someone in this tragedy, please pray for their families. Hey, this is a, uh, a tragic day and it's affected a whole lot of people. Breaking news this evening, one person is dead, 13 others are hurt after a man intentionally crashes an 18-wheeler into a DPS office in Brenham. Now at 10 and streaming on CrossroadsToday.com, we hear from the attorney of Brian Watson, reporter Adarius McCormick has the story. An 18-wheeler crashed into a DPS office in Brenham today. We had the number of people hurt and the condition of the driver. And Victoria Regional Airport receives high remarks and a federal review of Texas airports. Another cool start to tomorrow morning, then things start to warm up. I've got the details coming up in your forecast. And playoff and zone implications over at the sports complex. I'll have that in sports. You're watching 25 Views now at 10. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Don Brubaker. And I'm Karina Garcia. A carjacking in Clark County leads to a shooting involving sheriff's deputies. Now one suspect is dead, the other in custody. Let's bring in our Art Edwards who joins us live for this scene as we try to learn more about what happened here. Art, what can you tell us? John, everything came to an end here at the American Legion Hall on Northeast 20th. Good evening, I'm Luke Clary. Thanks for joining us for a special edition of the ABC 10 News. It's been a cold and rainy start to the weekend, so let's get a look outside. On the left, that's downtown Sacramento. And Good evening, I'm Chris Ty. Thanks for being with us. Welcome to our viewers on TV and on our digital streaming network, CBS News Chicago. We begin tonight with breaking news and a significant escalation of tension in the Middle East. Iran says it has launched drones and ballistic missiles towards Israel in retaliation for an attack in Syria that killed Iranian military commanders. Hello and 
welcome to The Debrief. I'm Alexa Liako. We begin with breaking news out of the Middle East. Iran's state media announced it launched a group of drones toward Israel. Those drones are expected to arrive within hours. Israel says it is prepared. The Israel Defense Force has confirmed the drone launches, and Iran's state media says it is also launching missiles toward Israel. Where the news comes first. This is KCRA 3 News at 6.30. Taking a live look at Israel now, military officials saying Iran has launched more than 100 drones toward Israel. And we've also learned this evening that the United States has downed some of those Iran-launched attack drones. That's according to a U.S. defense official. Israeli leaders also saying they hope to intercept some of those drones. The attack marking the first time Iran has launched a direct military attack on Israel. And NBC's Richard Engel reports from Jerusalem. The Atlanta Police Department says it's monitoring the situation between Iran and Israel. This after Iran launched strikes towards Israel. We have the very latest on the attack. It's just very sad. It is very I'm sad. I'm curious to know how it happened. A man is dead after police say an RV mobile home hit him. What he was doing when he was hit. This was supposed to be a town hall meeting. People living in a metro Atlanta county say they feel unheard after what was supposed to be a discussion turned into a vote. What's next for the Riverdale Fire Department? You are watching WSB Tonight. And thank you for joining us on your Saturday night. I'm Candace McCowan. We begin tonight with breaking news. Iran launches strikes against Israel. And this is the scene in Jerusalem tonight after Iran fired drones and missiles at Israel. Iran's foreign ministry says the attack is in retaliation for an Israeli strike on the Iranian consulate in Damascus earlier this month. Live, local, late breaking. WPBF 25 News at 11 starts now. Now at 11, authorities say the Boca Raton brush fire is under control. State and county officials now concerned over chances of the blaze reigniting. Plus. The sounds of sirens and explosions across Israel after Iran launches a swarm of drones. The conflict risking major escalation as the U.S. vows to back Israel. But first at 11, we're taking a live look at Port St. Lucie. So far, it has been a gorgeous weekend here across the Treasure Coast and the Palm Beaches. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jay Jarvis. First news at six starts right now. Good evening. As the filing deadline came and went last week for this year's major elections in North Dakota. East Wisconsin under high fire risk. What you need to know to avoid a fire. Your utility bills could rise <laughs> if a rate increase proposal is approved. When WPS customers could expect to see that increase. And from the First Alert Safety Desk, it's tax day, but don't panic if you haven't filed. I have some tips to get you back on track before tonight's deadline. From WBAY TV, your first alert station. Action 2 News this morning starts now. Well, I hope you had a great weekend. It's always good to have you starting a new week with us here on Action 2 News this morning. A beautiful weekend mm -hmm. out there. Lots of sunshine, warm temperatures. We've got First Alert Chief Neurologist Steve Balon standing by in the First Alert Weather Center. That's going to be changing at some point this week, right, Steve? Yeah, at some point. Yeah, school board tonight, and how they'll use public input about the district's boundaries and who will fill a vacant spot on the board. Plus, a woman who runs a local cleaning service appears in court after being accused of stealing prescription medication from a client. How she responded to those allegations. From WBAY TV, your first alert station. Action 2 News at 10 starts now. Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. Significant decisions tonight at the Green Bay Area School District Board Meeting. After six rounds of interviews, bringing you the local stories that matter. It's what sets us apart as the state's best large market newscast. Honored by the Louisiana Association of Broadcasters, setting the standard in Acadiana. We are News 15, your local news authority. Live showcasing all of Minnesota to you with Megan Newquist and Chris Eggert. This is Minnesota Live. Hi everybody, good morning and welcome to your Monday. 
coming off a fantastic weekend and kicking things off this morning with a live look from Bay Lake in the Brainerd Lakes area where it's a little cloudy there. But not bad compared to what the next couple of days are going to be like. It's uh, not icy, and it could very well be icy. Yeah, well, yeah, no. So it, uh, that. it was a warm one this weekend. We're going to check in with Ken, and uh, I kind of alluded to it, but we'll find out if this summer-like weather sticks around. We'll find out. Early morning storms rolled through while Central Ohio was sleeping. Franklin County does yeah. have that tornado warning. This is absolutely a tornado confirmed. ABC 6 News and Good Day Columbus were on your side. You absolutely need to be in your safe place. Keeping you alert to the potential danger passing through. So they have it. Not only just confirmed that there was rotation, but they were able to pick up debris. My dad said that his bed left on the ground, couldn't get out. And the wind just get, kept getting stronger and stronger and stronger. And then finally the whole house started to shake. Homeowners here told us they were in Thornville watching our tornado coverage. And that's when they noticed that it was tracking straight to their family members home. Keeping Central Ohio safe. ABC 6 News is on your side. This was serious stuff that was happening here in Central Ohio. Thank goodness we had Buck Michael here to steer the ship for us and get everybody uh, through it safely. You guys uh, rocked and rolled all morning. Live from Rhinelander, this is News Watch 12 at 10, the Northwoods Best News, with Jessica Jukic, Chief Meteorologist Jeff Weller, and Saul Meyer with Sports. News from where you live starts now. 